Hello, it's Reviews Day Tuesday and I'm going to do some mouse reviews today and it's going to be the old style of mouse reviews where I talk about a few random unconnected things all in one video. Little mini reviews. It's been so long since I've done a video like this but I just thought it would be fun to just throw some little teeny tiny reviews at you. Today I am going to be reviewing two films and a game. Firstly, Widows, the 2018 thriller heist film directed by Steve McQueen. It stars Viola Davis, Elizabeth Debicki, Cynthia Erivo and Michelle Rodriguez, who plan to steal five million dollars from politician Jack Mulligan, played by Colin Farrell, after the death of three of their husbands. For a start, the cast are amazing. We have Daniel Kaluuya and Liam Neeson, in addition to the people I've already mentioned. Also, the direction is really great. It's a very good looking film. The story is exciting and dramatic and it covers some heavy subjects such as police brutality and sexism and racism. I would say that the film sometimes felt a little bit fragmented, like there were a few different films happening at once, but I wouldn't say that there was a lull, you know, it may have been fragmented, but I didn't find it patchy in terms of enjoyment levels and excitement. I definitely recommend checking out Widows, it's on Amazon Prime Video in the UK if you have that. Definitely worth watching and I will give Widows 4.2 out of 5. Secondly, Space Sweepers. This is a very recently released uh, Korean space opera, it is on Netflix. It stars Song Joon Ki, Kim Tae and Richard Armitage. It's set in the future and it follows the small crew of Victory, a ship which collects space debris which is orbiting the Earth. Things take a turn when they discover a robot child uh, who is being looked for by the authorities due to being a weapon of mass destruction. I really liked the concept of this film. Uh, the future shown in this film was interesting. It was an interesting and difficult world. Aesthetically it also looked great, think along the lines of Firefly. And I loved the effects and I thought it was an impressive looking film. I really liked the central team of the victory, the four of them with their different backgrounds and dynamics. I'm a sucker for a team coming together. I would say that it took me rather a long time to get into the film, to get interested in the plot. It took until the second half of the film until I started to find it really engrossing and interesting, but I think it was worth the wait. I think overall it was a great film and I really enjoyed it. I will give Space Sweepers 4.1 out of 5 and I'd recommend checking it out as well if you have the opportunity. Finally today I'm going to talk about Solitarica. I've been playing this game quite a lot and talking about it quite a lot. It's a solitaire card game with um, RPG elements. You unlock decks based off of different classes such as bard or cleric or warrior or wizard and your tactics for defeating the enemy, the armies of stuck, different depending on which deck you are playing, which I find really fun. There are 10 different decks to unlock um, and they are available in both normal and epic difficulty. I have completed all of the decks now in normal difficulty and I'm now going through epic. I'm on my second deck in epic. So it is a game that it's possible to finish to complete. I don't know whether the game will be more boring to replay because I haven't got there yet. What I like is that it doesn't take too long to get the hang of the game but it is still challenging. Generally the later decks are harder than the earlier ones but I also found that um, the decks that I found harder depended a bit on my play style. I could spend a week trying to complete one deck and then the next deck would only take a couple of games to win. I also like that the game doesn't feel too frustrating when you lose, even when you lose early on several times in a row, because you get rewards for playing and you can use those rewards to unlock more abilities so that the next time you play it will be easier. You can also unlock um, hourglasses so that if you lose you'll get another chance and you can unlock the next deck and also the next time you play you'll get different cards and abilities unlocked so it doesn't get too repetitive. So yes I really enjoy this game, it's one that you can just start and stop whenever you like which I find convenient. It's available on Epic Games and also Steam I saw. I got it free on Epic but even at full price I feel like it's pretty good value. There's also an app version but in that one it looks like you have to spend money to unlock the decks so I personally wouldn't recommend the app version because as I said before the being able to unlock the decks through playing is one of my favourite things about the game so something to bear in mind there. But I will give Solitarica the PC version 4.5 out of 5. So that is it for today, the end of my mini random reviews. I'd love to know what you think about any of the things I've talked about today if you have watched or played them and let me know what you think about this style of review, the sort of very short version because I used to do videos like this quite a lot but I haven't for you know, a few years now, I think. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to see my latest video or some more mouse reviews, then you can do so below me here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel or visit my website, then you can do so beside me here. Also, if you're interested, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. I hope you have a great day, take care, and I will see you soon.